We're back inside of our $5,000 epic collectible storage unit. This is the most expensive storage unit in the state of North Carolina. And we pulled out nothing but gold so far. I think it's going to continue. Let's go. If you didn't see the first video, click the link down in the description and check it out too. Because it's literally unbelievable. You won't believe what was left in here. It's just insane. We ended part one with a total value of $1,475. let us see where we can go from there. There hasn't been one bad thing yet. Check out this Hot Wheels, whole 100 cars, and listen, they're definitely in there. But how do I open it? That's another story, you see it? Yeah. Where is it, this? There we go. Whoa, look at those, look at those. Let's look at a date on one of these guys. Little yellow Lamborghini, 2013, so newer on that one. That doesn't mean they all are. Let's look at the this thing. What year is this from? It's from, doesn't say, it just has Thailand on it. Okay. <laughs> but check it out. That's how we're starting today. A whole case of cars and a whole another section of cars on the top of this thing. This looks like some kind of wall hanger thing of some sort. How in the heck? Oh, does that come off? Yep. That's easy. There we go. Let's. Oh! Oh, yes! 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 I was hoping we'd find something in here. We definitely nice. don't have this. Definitely. Oh, that's sick. That is awesome. Check that out. Goku, Bardock. <laughs> Baby Goku, Zarbon, oh my gosh, and Frieza back here. That is so old and sick. This is 100% going to our collection. You know what? This is a great way to start out this video. By the way, if you love Dragon Ball Z, we have a channel dedicated to going out, collecting all kinds of stuff, trying to beat the world record. The link's in the description. It's called Devious Ball Z. You should check it out if you're into it. Check out this MLB baseball. I think it's supposed to be a blanket, but it feels really hard to be a blanket. But it's got all the teams, the good ones, the bad ones, <laughs> all kinds of baseball teams one. and the bad ones, all the rest of them. <laughs> but definitely a nice blanket. This one trolled me last video because that looked like it was a Dragon Ball right there. But it's actually Teletubbies, a Teletubby blanket. Nice. Okay, go over there with your baseball. What is this one? Is that WWE? Oh, oh, is this, oh it's a sleeping bag. Is it Hulk? Who is it? It's um, Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hogan, yeah. A uh, Hulk Hogan? WWF sleeping bag. Wrestling stuff is expensive, especially when it says um, WWF instead of WWE. So like, would there be that. a year on it? Then? I'm sure. Well, this this will date it for sure as old because it's WWF instead of E. It's just machine wash. Nothing. Oh, 1991. 1991. Yeah, pull this tag out right here. That's 30 some year old. Yep. Titan Hulk Sports, Hogan. 1991. That is sick right there. Wrestling fans, I know you're drooling. Now let's sit down here and go through some of the lower stuff. Like this clown on a wheel who's smushing Obama. You see that? Is that Obama? Or, that's Obama. He's getting run over by a clown. I didn't know they made Obama action figures. Well, he can just stay in there with the clown. And then we got, look at this. Looney Tunes, Happy Easter, some type of serving tray or something. Yeah. But Looney Tunes anything is awesome. Now I see, what is this? An army thingy? A canteen? It looks like a military canteen, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh yeah, there's two hooks. There it is. Definitely what that is. A military canteen. That's pretty cool. Now I want to get out this thing of DVDs right here because I see a lot of Japanese stuff and I'm wondering if we have some anime in there. Check this out. I don't even know what these are. This one. I know this is in Yuyasha. Uh, and there's a lot of random stuff that I've never heard of. That's because really I'm just a Dragon Ball fan. Well, I gained respect for this guy and now I'm losing respect for this guy mm -hmm. because Dragon Ball is far superior to Naruto in every way possible. Uh, we got more DVDs. Let's see anything else down there. Just a horde. You see all this? Yeah. Just a bunch of straight, I mean the writing's not even in English. So just Japanese, maybe it's um, subbed in English. I don't know, but e either which way, anime, DVDs, and the books are worth money. Let's pull down the next tote. Oh, is that Star Wars? Are these Star Wars figure or vehicles? Oh, most definitely, aren't they? What year is this guy from? This is cool looking. It doesn't have a year. Oh no, that's 2014. Dang it. I was hoping it would be more vintage, but still definitely cool. And look inside the tote in general. There's a bunch of little Star Wars vehicles, little like toy army type guys. Are these old at least? No. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, are these old? They're like from 2014 is what I was about to say. That just made me kind of like feel those cartoon moments where you swallow your spit. A whole bunch of toy soldiers, they're all 
Star Wars theme. So definitely, I bet you some value in this tote. I got oh, a massive blue Lego that I'm gonna guess is full of regular size Legos. Oh yeah, look at that. And some random figures mixed in. Mostly all Legos. There's a little guy. Hey buddy, you wanna say hi to the camera? He wants to say hi to you guys. Like, hi. You better wave to him. <laughs> But that is all Lego. So let's just put the top on this big boy. Let's slide it over here. This box right here looks really cool. Whoa. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. First, we have some action figures. It looks like in this plastic bag. Or are they cars? They're cars. What does that say? Days of Thunder? Days of Thunder. Old race cars. I'm trying to look for a date on the back. 1990 Matchbox. That's pretty cool. Look at this one. Yeah, these are cool. These are really cool. And there we got, what is that one? Some cards maybe? 20 yeah, collectible race cards? Nice. And then we got two more little cars. Cool for sure. Oh, there's one more in there to try to sneak away. What are you? Another thing of the cards. You know, I always see this figure. Oh, this is the Hulk. You know what I think of when I see this? Oh. Those big brute things from Fallout. What are they called? I can't think of their name right now. Oh my gosh, it's gonna bother I me. I can't think of their name. We'll spit it out when it comes yeah, eventually in. <laughs> it'll come. We'll just be talking like, <laughs> yeah. um, Super Mutants. Su there, there, you go. there it is. That's what they remind me of, but it's the Hulk. Let's see, oh, is this a bank? Oh, oh well, look, the key's taped to it. Thank you, let's see if there's Thank anything you. inside of this. How sweet. That's so nice. I didn't want to have to break it because it looks collectible. No. <laughs> but if I didn't know it was in there, I mean, what I had to do what we had to do, you know? <laughs> Let's see, oh, come out. Let's see if there's anything in there. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Oh, no. Another key. Another key. Yeah. All right, let's just put both the keys in the lock in there and shut it down. This is a little piglet lunchbox. Tigger lunchbox. What is this? This looks like a dinosaur bone thing. Whoa, okay, let's see. Is this taped or just wrapped? It's just wrapped. Let's see, I gotta get this out of here because I think this looks really cool but I'm scared it's gonna break. So I'm gonna pull it off very slowly and carefully. That's for sure. Okay, look at this. Check that out. It's a miniature scale dinosaur. That is so cool, actually. I wonder what this is from. This feels like actual rock down here, too. Like, this doesn't feel like plastic. Whoa. I'm trying to look on the bottom. It says on there, Hobby Lobby. So maybe they put it together? <laughs> Maybe, Maybe something like that. All right, let's scoot this stuff over and set him down right here. What is this? this? Is another dinosaur that's all put together. It's a Triceratops. You know more dinosaurs than me. <laughs> I know T-Rex and what's the flying one? Pterodactyl. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know nothing. Oh no, these are vintage cap guns. They're metal. Uh oh. Well, let's see. These are metal cap guns. Whoa. Do you think it fires? Or right. I probably shouldn't try. What does that mean though? Does metal what? mean they're vintage? They're old, yeah. Okay. These are old I didn't cap know. guns. <laughs> Man, I almost like I low key want to try to fire it, but I'm scared I'm gonna damage it. And it even has its own, its own little holster with it. I That's thought you fired me. it. So did I. <laughs> its own little holster. And look, another cap gun in there. And there's some of the old school, like the ring caps, you know, the good days. The ring caps. That's cool. What else do we have in here? Let's see what's in this bag. Open up, you. Is that cabbage patches? These are cabbage patches, aren't they? No, they don't look like cabbage patches. They don't? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. They look, they do a little bit. Come on, you don't think that face looks like cabbage patch? I don't. Okay. Maybe I, I'm gonna have to disagree. <laughs> Fine, what do you guys think? Put it in the comments. They resemble cabbage patch dolls. I'm not saying they are, do they resemble them? That's the question. Their name's Chipper and Angel, by the way. They have names on their tags. Okay. Chipper and Angel. Is there something down here? Oh yeah, this is something right here. What is this? Ooh, Ooh this it's like is... a birthday present. We gotta open it up. The fact that it's like wrapped in, this is bubble wrapped and then bubble wrap again, makes me think it's something special or at least something very fragile. So let's be very careful with it and open up whatever it is. It's two shipping things stuck together. Do you have any guesses? I don't even I know. I don't. Me neither. Like a metal sign? It feels glass. Oh, there it is. Well, uh, like a piece of tree bark. That's what it looks like. It looks like glass tree bark. Okay, that. Anything else in here? That is the bottom of the box, but wow, what a great box. Guys, 
just go ahead and stop building the video like right now because it's gonna be epic like this all the way through. While we're still on the ground, I'm gonna look at one more thing and that's this really, really old looking holy Bible here. Oh wow, look at the side of that. Why can't I think of the word for it? But binding? That, the binding, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> let's open it up. Oh, that's falling apart, it's really beat. Let's see if we can find a year on this thing because old Bibles can be worth money, that's for sure. Do we see a year anywhere? Mm -hmm. It's colored, so it's probably not going to be too old. As old as I'm thinking, at least. When did they start putting colored text in print? I don't even I know. I don't know. I don't see a date, though, do you? Not yet. Look in here. Whoa, what is that? What is this stuff? Oh, this is like somebody's literally old church book. Yeah, look at Whoa. that, though. What the heck? This is from 1857 to 1957. Look at this. Look at these records right here. Look at the date. It's born and died. 1870. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. I'm just gonna put this back in here. Just flip through it and make sure we don't see nothing else. I'm trying to be really careful with it because it is so old and fragile. But I'm not seeing nothing else besides just the book itself. But if anyone has an idea on a date on this big boy, definitely let us know down in the comment section. I'm starting fat people controversy right now. By far the best tasting, best customer service, greatest fast food place on earth, Chick-fil-A. And if you disagree, Fight me. No, don't, don't really, but they are the best. <laughs> fight him in the comments. Yeah, fight me in the comments. Come get some. What is this guy? Mm. What, what he, does it say right he here? He moves. Uh, it says W-O-W-W-E-E. -E. Wowie. 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 <laughs> that, is this stand him maybe? It looks like it's the same color combination. I'd assume this goes to him. Maybe he can sit on here or something like that. Hmm. Kind of cool. There, oh look. There he is. There he is. There's his usual his Mip. user manual. Mip. Hi, Mip. Mip. How you doing, Mip? <laughs> Here's old school Family, Family guy. guy DVD and an Elton John's greatest hit CD. Ah, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You know what? While my hands are full, while I was looking at pictures on this unit on storage, storage treasures, I could see this and make this out and look it up. And this was selling for a hundred bucks and set on worth point. That's what it was listed for on eBay. So that's a nice hundred dollar bill right there. Let's see what this poster was that jumped to the ground when I tried to move that other thing. Oh, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Harry Potter poster. Order Let's of the Phoenix. Put it back together. I remember those books being so popular when I was in elementary school. I remember seeing the movie and I was like, it's kind of cool, I guess. It is, I Let's like Harry see. Potter. What's this? This guy's from Westworld. Dr. Robert Ford. Okay. Is that the whole stuff? Okay, there's like four different figures. I've never even seen or heard of that show. So there's him. I'm gonna set him right here for now. Okay. Actually, I'll bring him out and bring these out. All right. So these look like a bunch of figures in here. Let's put this guy over here. Let's rip this open. You don't want to go through them on there? On where? On top of the yeah, like let's VTRs. Do let's do that and save my back, right? Yes. All right, let's see. We have us a Carrie Wood. First nice. off, then we have, yeah, where, who's this? A Meyer Stoudemire. <laughs> I'm, uh, I don't, I'm bad at pronouncing games. <laughs> I remember that name though. Like, I think he played for a different team before. Mike Piazza. Starting lineup. Oh, cool. Oh, Look cool. at that. That's actually pretty sick. That I is like awesome. That. You go up here. You go up here, guys. And we'll get all these guys down and look at the other figures in a bit. Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox, 1997 starting lineup. Cool little figure. They look funny. One more in there. <laughs> Who's the last guy in there? Mike, Mike Piazza. Piazza. Again. Mike Piazza. Is it the again. same one? Yeah. Same Looks one. like the same exact one, but these are all old figures. Let's get them loaded up and then see what these basketball figures are. I'm getting kind of excited because I can see right there. It's hard to see. You're not going to be able to see it, I don't think. But there's a Pikachu and a Pokeball in there. And if we have vintage Pokemon cards in this unit too, man, it's just going to be crazy. This looks like we literally have seven of these LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony double packs. You know what I want to do? I want to see if huh. they're worth anything. All right. Let's since we have seven of them, let's just take my phone out and scan it and see what they're selling for. Ding! Why is every storage unit like a dead zone? Looks like they're going for about thirty bucks in box a piece. Thirty to thirty-five cool. dollars in box, and we have six of six. them. So hey, can't beat that. You know, I wish this thing worked right here. This is actually like a magnetic flashlight would be really nice if it actually worked but unfortunately it doesn't but it's a cool concept actually mm -hmm. check these out here these are usually going for like 50 to 100 dollars on ebay vhs and dvd combo this one's vhs dvd combo is the bottom one too i can't tell can you uh, tell is that a dvd player yeah vhs yeah vhs dvd dvd oh, and the bottom one 
So all of them. I bet you that's probably $150 at least just in those three guys right there. Let's get it out the way and go into these boxes. Let's slice open these boxes right here and see what we have inside of them. I'm cutting it like very careful because everything in here has been collector's heaven. Opens right up. Oh, this is glass. Isn't it? That doesn't mean it's not collectible, but I don't know how to tell. There you go. No, oh, there's like a couple pieces in there. Let's see what the get off tape. Get <laughs> off. That's assault. Let's see. <laughs> what this is right here. Let's take this one out. Actually, I could tell you, it's just like a little, you like can see there. Beach. Yeah, like no, one no. of those things you grab for the beach basically as you're leaving for the person you didn't take with you on your vacation. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually Star Wars. We'll take this one out. That's what they are. Like, you know, you didn't want to take your Uncle John, so you just get him a freaking globe like that for the nope. beach. A snow globe. That's exactly what they're for. Look at this one. Darth Vader. Star Wars. Now that one's cool. Does it have a date on it? <laughs> it doesn't. Nope. But that. Is there any more like that? Star Wars? You're still laughing? <laughs> still about more, your, more beaches. Your delivery of that was perfect. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. That, the rest of it's just glass. Now I doubt these are glass because the way the boxes are shaped. Something's written on it. What's it say? El Mago de Oz S. Carletta. Okay. I failed Spanish in high yeah, school. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know. <laughs> I failed Spanish too in high school. So don't look at me. Let's see if that's descriptive. Whoever can read that, tell me what it says. Tell me if it's right. Oh, it's the Tin Man. Whoa. It's the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz. I got it, Sienna. What do you think? Because stuff like this goes both ways. It's either mass produced and worth $7 or really hard to find and worth like 100 something. I say 40 bucks. 40? Hope it's more. Literally, the last two sold were forty and thirty six hey. ninety nine with twelve shipping. <laughs> How did you manage to get that? That don't look like forty bucks. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's a Tin Man. So I wonder if this is all the characters. That'd be awesome. Let's see. I'm guessing Scarecrow here. What do you think? Oh, something's written on that one too. <laughs> Botara Robot de Terminate. Okay. Terminator Robot. Okay. Nope. Not at all. Nope. <laughs> all right. Is. Boxes don't matter. Oh well. A little gold digger gold chopper. Digger. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Is that from like a TV show, like American Choppers? I have no idea. A heritage puzzle. Okay. And then we got, what else is in here? Let's see. It's like a mystery box. Ooh, it is like a little mystery box. Is that it? Hey, look, hey, they're not lying. Hmm. Look. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. I'm guessing that's what they were talking about. And what the heck are these? They're little Taco Bell brand cars look at that street, street slick, slick. <laughs> taco branded look at the back you can tell that's old that looks like old toys collect all four collect all four that's kind of cool too let's set them down here and let's go to our finale box. oh there's two more there's two. two more okay two more mystery boxes what does that box like say muppets uh muppets newsman, newsman okay let's see there's looks like only one thing in this one. Oh. yep newsman the, muppets. the muppets newsman they're telling the truth this time. What year is that from? Look at the plastic. It looks old, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Do we see a year anywhere on the back of this guy? 2003. So that's 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm old now. 20 years ago on that guy. Last box right here. Oh, this one's way heavier than the rest. The one I can't wait to see what's in that pink tote. Ooh. Let's see. What? G.I. Joe cards. Ooh, G.I. Joe cards. Oh, that sounds cool. Let's see. Open. No way. Guys, this might be a whole seal box. Hold on. Look at this. Look at these. Whoa. I'm gonna sit on the floor. Okay. Let's see. Ugh. Ow. Shrapnel. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, look at this. Whoa, look. Okay, I'm not counting. I can't count this high. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's more. What's this? What are these? Easy load 36 slide tray. Maybe they're for like a projector. That'd be my guess. Is that, is that all that's in here? Oh no, 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 not at all. There's way more G.I. Joe cards. Look at this. Whoa, that's that's crazy. There's a doll in here too. What is that? Looks like a Chicago Bull. Yeah, Chicago Bulls cheerleading bear. Okay, is that all that's in our mystery box? No, no, no. Actually, it's just paper. 
I'm leaving it up to you. Yay! Box that we know has something Pokemon in it, or the first tote, which we have no idea what's in it. I kind of want a tote. <laughs> a tote? Yeah. All right, let's see what's in a tote. I'm curious about the tote. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, this thing is heavy. Let's see what it looks like from the top. Oh my gosh, it's oh full of Oh my gosh. Stuff. Okay, to the ground. To the ground. To the ground, to the ground, to the ground, to the ground. Ugh. Ow. I fell on my big booty. All right, let's see. Oh, that came right out. This is a President's Magazine with George Washington on it. Okay. We got, what is that? Bottoms up beer mats. Uh, sir, sir, come on now. <laughs> uh, this is just wrap, oh, whoa. There's toys in here. Surprise, surprise, huh? Yeah. Look at this Coca-Cola. That's old school. Santa Claus Coca-Cola car. That's sick. What is this? Oh, this is a miniature Pac-Man arcade machine. Look at that. That is super cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> What's this? Get up. Come here, book. Joe Biden. Promise me, Dad. Mm. Prom mm. Okay. This... <laughs> Uh, Araldus Chapman? Reds. Okay. Cincinnati Reds. Oh my gosh. What's he from? I'm testing you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's he from? Oh What's my from? gosh. I think I'm right now. You're making me second guess myself. Is it? Is that Little Bear? I was about to say Winnie the Pooh, is it? Winnie the Pooh? I only it said is, that look. Winnie the Pooh on the back. Okay. Oh my gosh. I was like... Freaking <laughs> out, huh? Uh, yeah. Look at this. Man, that's a pretty cool little model car for sure. Signature model. What's this guy right here? Kaleidoscope. Uh, Barnum's Kaleidoscope. What is it? Is it just a book? Okay, cool. Oh, look. Some Barnum and oh, Bailey ticket stubs. Cool. Those are actually put in there. I used to go to that show every year. My mom took me. They came, in, they came to a school right next to where we live every year. AM, FM, headphone, radio. Just look at that advertising. That looks so cool. I bet you this doesn't have a barcode. I was about to say, let me scan it. No, this doesn't have a barcode. No year? This is old, no. Uh, year, not that I'm seeing, but it definitely doesn't have a barcode, which kind of dates it, it's pretty old. Yeah, I don't see a year on it. Huh. But you can just tell, just look at that kid right there. You could tell this thing's old school for sure. Ooh, I see a signed baseball. Look at this, uh, is this? No, this is legit signed. There's no way that says what I think it does. Huh. That looks like Roger Clemens, doesn't it? You see yes, that? yeah. I can't tell if it's printed, no, because you can see how the ink's like kind of running on it, you know what I mean? If that was a printed signature, I think it would be solid, don't you? Yeah. This what are is... the other ones? Show the other one. Uh, let's look at some over here. There's definitely a lot in there, that's for sure. Wow, Spin that's Spin it so around cool. one more time. Over here. Oh, look, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the ball. It's the most valuable player, Cal Ripken Jr. ball. That's sick. It's the all-star team. 91 is what it says. Nice. Huh. That's so freaking... Gosh, this unit's so <laughs> cool. Look at these old cards right here. Let's see if we can open them up and get a look at some of them. What are they? Looks like a mix. Oh, is there some graded ones in here? No, look at this. That is... That's part of the bat. This nice. is part of his, like, uniform. That's pretty cool. I love when I see these kind of cases like this. Look at that. Barry Bond. Cool. Man, this guy's got some good stuff. Some really good stuff. There's a lot more cards down there. I don't see anything else in cases. I can't go through all of them, obviously, but it would take forever. I'm going to pull out one and read the year on it. Maybe card people can tell me what to look for. This is 1996, the Scoreboard Inc. If there's any like particular valuable one in that set that you know of, let us know. Let us know, please. And these are like comic cards. What are these? Deadbolt? It's like comic cards. That's kind of cool. There's a bunch of those. I even see some holographics in there. Ah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You see down there? Some holographic ones and stuff. Let's look in this baseball card right here. What year is this guy from? This is from... I don't see a year on it. Oh, 1988. Again, if there's like a, you know, a rookie card, a star player, something like that we need to look for, let us know for sure. Because cards are just one of those things you got to have knowledge on, or they just take forever to go through. Watch this. Oh, look at that. Underdog is here. This old metal tin lunchbox. That is definitely cool. I was just shaking it to make sure there's nothing inside. Is that Barbie? What is that? No. Glow Friends? I had that one. 
This one? Like the stuffed animal. Not not oh. that lunchbox, but like the stuffed animal. It's a glow worm. Let's see if it has the thermos with it. No, it's got action figures in it. An elephant, Spider-Man, uh, something from the Flintstones, I'm guessing. That looks like Fred Flintstone's gown. And is that, is this That's... some kid Flintstones? Maybe. Because that looks like Betty's dress, doesn't it? The blue. Yeah, but I thought it was blue and white, or blue and black. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It looks it's blue and white. Look at that. Star Wars, Lego, or Hot Wheels. I was about to say Legos. That's cool. Look at this truck. Check that guy out. That's super cool, actually. American Racing. Is it say? There's what it is. American Racing. Like tractor trailer type car. And it opens up on the back. Look at that. Think there's anything in there? A car. No. Nope. Nope. Nothing Aww. there. Making sure he wasn't making a delivery. Make sure he didn't have anything. <laughs> Whoa, there's some boxes down here. Whoa, those, those aren't shoes. I think these are cards. Come on, something cool, something cool. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, baseball cards. Again, let's pull one out and look at the year. These look newer, they look too nice to be old. These are from, where does it say? It says Fleer. These are from 1992 actually, they're older than me. Wow, they're just in really good shape. Okay, so there's a bunch of baseball cards in there. There's a, quite a few boxes in here. You think these are all cards? Oh, are that weight? I'm gonna guess 100% yes. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what Look is at that? that. You got a Ken Griffey, uh, it's in bad shape though. Ken Griffey Jr. like standy, but it would need tape to stand again. Look at the back, wow. not holding up. But let's pull one of these cards out and see what year these are from. This is from 1996. So again, guys, let us know what we're looking for here. Let's set these over here. Oh, I love this tote already. Good pick, good pick. What is it? Oh, look at that. It's Fred Flintstone like pinball machine. Cool. That's so cool, actually. What year is that from? I don't even know. Does it have a year? No. It's definitely older, that's huh. for sure. Yeah. Let's see what's in these guys. NASCAR? Oh, look, they're playing card decks. Cool. Nice. This one's just Christmas. The other one was NASCAR. I didn't realize that they both weren't NASCAR. No. Oh. What is that? Open up. Same thing. Brand new playing cards. Now that's cool. What else do we have in here? Uh, whoa, those are all cards mixed. I see basketball, uh, football, baseball, all kinds of mixed in cards. This one's actually labeled 96 to 97 baseball cards. Are they telling the truth? Let's pull one. There's a twins card. Is it from the right year, 1996? So they're telling the truth. Man, that's what these totes look like. You know how many more totes and boxes are in here? A lot. Now we have the box with the Pokemon stuff that you'll see next time. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss the next one, guys. Peace out.